Hey everyone, it's Miley with Cloud App. I have now shown how to create a Facebook profile and how to customize that profile. Now I will show you how to post a status. Um, there are a lot of different things you can do now with Facebook statuses. Um, you could just type something like, I love cats. You can choose to tag someone in it. Um, I won't type in a name, but you can type in anyone you're friends with there. Um, and you can also add an image. So I'm going to show you. We're going to select all of these by just dragging your mouse. We're going to click Open. So these will upload. You can even add a feeling. So you can say feeling, feeling cool. Um, and that'll show up right here. You can also check in if there's a specific place. Cat Town. Um, and then you can also um, ask to support a nonprofit if you want. And you could say, something like this. And then there you can ask people to donate. Um, I'm gonna erase that for now, but there are a lot of different things you can do with the status. Um, you can also choose to have a life event if you want to um, say that, let's see, family, new pet. You can, again, add a photo. We'll just add this photo. Say the date is October 1st. And then you can choose where you want to share this. You can share it publicly with only friends. Friends accept certain friends. Uh, friends of friends would show your friends plus any of their friends or only specific friends. Or if you just want to post it for yourself, you can do only me. Um, I'm going to click just friends and then I'm going to share that. Um, if you wanted to do the other status again, you would just. Feeling. Or you can say any of these different verbs, but we'll say feeling loved. And then you can add those photos again. Once those upload, then you're able to post this. Just know if you click to live video or live event, this post won't save. Um, so just make sure to only create one post at a time. And then those are ready. So I'm just going to click post. You also have the option of doing it to your story. Now, uh, this is another feature uh, that'll basically be available. Um, I'll show you where to go. But first, here's the post. Feeling loved and then it'll show pictures of your cat. So people can go in and like and comment on these. You can also edit these later on, add a location or tag them. If, if your cat had a Facebook profile, you can put that there. Um, or if you want someone specifically to see it, you can tag them. Um, what you'll be able to do is there will be um, an option once you have friends to look at their stories. Um, so for instance, you can add to your story. These only last for 24 hours and um, you can, again, choose who sees it. Uh, but this is just kind of a, a temporary post that will only be around for 24 hours and you can see your friends post that way. Um, but this is your news feed. This is where you can go and scroll through and find, um, you know, what your friends are doing, any information. You can also use Messenger if you want to chat anyone in particular um, once you have friends on here. Um, there's also a Facebook watch where you can go and watch um, different material that Facebook has put out as well as um, users. And then you can go in here and basically explore around. Uh, the main purpose of Facebook, of course, is to stay connected with friends and family members. Um, so that's kind of how you do this. You can click this Find, Friend buttons, find Friends button at any, any time if you, um, if you need to you know, find more friends. Um, I have no new friend requests here. 
And you can also view if you've sent any friend requests that haven't been accepted or denied yet. Um, you can also find that there, the messages, and then notifications will show you if anything is happening that you need to see. Um, so that's how you use uh, your Facebook profile and post um, statuses. Hopefully that was helpful and you're able to use uh, Facebook to stay in touch with your loved ones.